Asia begins the third or a booster dose of COVID-19 vaccination today. The booster vaccine will be carried out in stages and free for all citizens. For the initial stage, the Indonesian government is targeting 12 million people. The vaccination program will be administered with a heterologous scheme or scheme or use a booster vaccine with those different from the primary vaccine type. The government ensures the booster vaccine is free, prioritized for the elderly and vulnerable groups. Immunizations are conducted in government-owned health care facilities such as public health centers, government hospitals and regional hospitals. Elderly people are very enthusiastic to get a third dose or booster vaccine in Sleman, Yogyakarta. They go to vaccination center at Sidoarjo uh, village, I should say Sardono. Sardono Harjo Village Hall, Ngalik, based on schedule arranged by local government's official. And to prevent a long queue, this booster vaccination uses an invitation method. For the first day, the village invited about 600 elderly people. But those who attended exceeded the number of invitations, reaching up to 700. By government directives, type of vaccine used for this third dose injection is different from the one they have received in the first and second doses. Residents are expected to have better immune system after getting their booster shots. One of the recipients expressed his appreciation to be able to get first opportunity from the first booster injection, explaining that the vaccination schedule was abstain, obtained from government officials at the village level. Indonesian Health Minister Budi Gunadi Sadikin has announced three vaccine combination schemes prepared for booster vaccination program after considering the availability of vaccines and research results from the Indonesian Food and Drug Authority or BEPOM. Memberikan vaksinasi booster dengan mempertimbangkan ketersediaan vaksin yang ada di tahun ini. Karena jenisnya akan berbeda dengan ketersediaan vaksin di tahun lalu. Dan kita juga mempertimbangkan hasil riset yang dilakukan oleh peneliti-peneliti dalam negeri maupun luar negeri. Kombinasi vaksinasi booster yang akan diberikan mulai tanggal 12, yang nantinya mungkin akan bisa bertambah jenis kombinasinya, tapi yang akan dimulai di tanggal 12 besok, Sesuai dengan pertimbangan tadi, kesiapan dari vaksin yang ada dan juga hasil research dari peneliti-peneliti dalam negeri luar negeri yang sudah dikonfirmasi oleh Badan POM dan juga ITAGI adalah sebagai berikut. Yang pertama, untuk vaksin primer Sinovac atau vaksin pertama dan kedua Sinovac, kita akan berikan vaksin boosternya setengah dosis Pfizer. Rezim yang kedua adalah untuk vaksin primer Sinovac, jadi vaksin pertama dan kedua Sinovac, akan kita berikan booster setengah dosis AstraZeneca. Alternatif ketiga atau rezim ketiga untuk vaksin primer AstraZeneca, jadi dua kali AstraZeneca, kita akan berikan vaksin boosternya setengah dosis modern. 